Many knew him as a valiant soldier who fought wars in Uganda, Congo, Sudan, and many other countries. He was the permanent secretary, Ministry of Defense. He was the former member of parliament representing the Uganda People's Defense Forces. He was the board chairperson, New Vision Group. Husband, father, role model, mentor, and patriot. This man indeed lived up to his name, Noble. Today, life stories pays a posthumous tribute to the late Brigadier Noble Mayombo. I'm Justine, your host, and I welcome you to the show. He was born in Kabarole district in 1965, the seventh out of 12 children. His brilliant career started off with a Bachelor's of Law degree and a Master's of Law, both from Makere University. In 1985, he joined the NRA in their guerrilla war against Milton Obote's regime and the military junta that overthrew him in 1986. His high intellect, dedication and efficiency saw him rise rapidly through the military ranks and by 2004, Mayombo was a full-fledged colonel and the representative of the military in the Ugandan parliament. In October 2005, Colonel Mayombo was promoted to brigadier and appointed permanent secretary to the Ministry of Defense. Today we are at the home of the late Brigadier Noble Mayombo. This is where he lived with his family. We are going to meet his wife, Juliet Mayombo, who will be telling the tale of the love of her life, his sudden death, the controversies surrounding it, coping and moving on. Hello Juliet. Hello Justin. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm good. Thanks for having us here. You have a beautiful place. Thank you and you're welcome. All right. So Juliet, tell me about um, your life with Noble. Tell me about dating such an honorable, noble gentleman. It was great, I must say, Justin. Mm -hmm. I was very blessed to have such a husband. I felt good. I felt great. Mm -hmm. I was proud of him, and I am still proud to be called his widow, mm -hmm. even when he's no longer here. Mm -hmm. So Juliet, we, see, um, we used to hear about him, or even see him being sent to dangerous missions in Congo, in Sudan, where, you know, weren't you once scared that he may not return? Well, I got married to Nobo, when I knew his kind of life, he was that busy. He was a very dedicated man to mm. his country, to his work. And he didn't only go to Congo, he went to different places. I always prayed for him to return home safely. I always missed him, mm. but I knew <laughs> that finally. He would come was it, well, had it ever been longer than a year when he's not home? Yeah, yeah. I even my firstborn, I gave birth to my firstborn when he was away for two weeks. Mm. And that was really bad. Mm. But I went through it because I knew what he was doing. You knew that you were an army wife. Exactly. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. So, Jeanette, tell me about the late Noble Mayambo's death. Well, Justin, Noble went to work on a normal day, as usual. He was okay. And he fell sick in the evening, very sick. And in a few days after, he went to be with them. How do you feel about such a sudden occurrence, you know? Yeah, it was shocking. But it happened. Because I believe that uh, when everyone times time to go comes, mm -hmm. you go. And his time came, and he went to rest. Yes, you were a very young couple. How did you process that? My husband has gone to work, and then the next day he's breaking news. Justin, it was shocking, I must say, and so sad. But life is full of uncertainties. Things come to our lives when we're not prepared. But you must move on by God's grace. And here we are. 
Brigadier Mayombo died on the 1st of May 2007, at the prime of his life at only 42 years old. The circumstances surrounding his demise remain unclear to this day. On April 30th, Brigadier Mayombo was admitted at Kololo Hospital after feeling unwell. And by the following day, he was put on life support as he got worse. The family then decided to fly him to Aga Khan Hospital in Nairobi after he suffered multi-organ failure. And it's from here that he passed on at 3 p.m. on 1st May 2007. How did you feel about the controversies that surrounded his death? You know, this was a man that one out of ten functions, he was the guest of honor. Everybody owned him. I must say it was so hard, you know, going through that very emotional and hurting situation. And here you, here, there I didn't have time to go through the papers. I was traumatized. It was, it was horrible. Mm -hmm. But by God's grace, mm -hmm. I had to stand firm to be strong mm -hmm. for these little ones. When a loved one dies, the pain is overwhelming and those left behind need all the comfort and support they can get from friends and family. Juliet Mayumba received all that, but she had to find her own strength and tenacity to get through this trying time and move on, if only for the sake of her children, who were bewildered by the sudden death of their loving father. Juliet, tell me about your favorite memory with your late husband, Nobo Mayumba. Nobo was the loving husband. He was loving. He loved me so much. I was a proud woman. And I am still proud, as I said, to be called his widow because of his love. He was generous. He was a great friend, not only a husband, but a friend, a best friend. So what is that favorite memory? His love. How have you managed to move on? I must say it's hard and very, very trying and, and, and horrible to be a single mother, to play both roles of a father and a mother, to work hard out there, and then become a mother and give all the love to the children that are really so traumatized. They no longer see the father. At, at, at school they ask, they see other people Fathers coming for their children, they never see theirs. It must, it, it, I must say it has been hard. And I have no fear that the Lord who gave me no book and took him away, he has a great plan mm -hmm. for our, our family. Mm -hmm. Julie is such a strong woman and I'm praying that families out there, ladies out there, people who are struggling with loss of a loved one will pick some strength from you. But were you cancelled? I just want to know because you're really strong. Justin has never cancelled. I must say that for everything that happens in life, God has a plan for it. I just went down on my knees and prayed to God because at the moment I felt He's the only one that can see me through. He gave me no hope, He took Him away. For sure. At such a time, horrible time, he had to be there for me. And I prayed for a specific miracle. I needed the strength to take me through this whole time of being a single mother, of giving love for both parents, mm -hmm. father and the mother, to these, to these delicate children. It was never easy. But by God's grace, we've come this far. Well, all I can say to women out there is that tragedy is a part of life. We live with pain, as you say it, Justin. But I just need to encourage them to pray because 
the Bible says that God is the father to the fatherless and the husband to widows. He's always close to us. He gives us first priority when we make our requests to him. He will always be there to stand with us, to provide for us, to give us the love that we miss out there in the world. Because the world will give way. People forget. And where do you run to if not God the Almighty? He's always there to make a way where there seems to be no way. His mercy is on you every morning. He will always be there to provide everything and to do everything possible to comfort you, to comfort us. He has done it for me. I never knew I could come this far with my little children. But here I am. I'm a living testimony yeah. for those young couples that are now alone, that have lost their loved ones. And therefore, I want to encourage you, be firm, be strong. It's the Lord Almighty that can give you the strength that you need, that can put a smile on your faces. Mm -hmm. Trust him. He will do it for you. He has done it for me. Blessed be his name. And God Amen. bless you out there. Amen. I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Your story took a great, great toll on me and really, really got me emotional. Gillette, thank you very much for being on the show today. Welcome, thank you for having the strength to open up, let us into a crucial part of your life. You. You're watching Life Stories and we'll be right back.